So today, I will be showing you something very, very cool. About three months ago, I made a video on better ranks, which is an items adder add-on that will add custom rank textures to your Minecraft server, like the ones you see over here on Origin Realms. Now, while better ranks is great and very easy to install, it also has two massive downsides. First of all, you will need items adder for it to actually work, which is quite an expensive plugin. And the second downside is that it is very hard to get working with Geyser MC. For those who don't know what Geyser MC is, it is a plugin you can install on your Java Edition server so Bedrock Edition players will be able to join. Now, because the resource packs of Java and Bedrock Edition work so differently from each other, all the items adder stuff will just not show up on Bedrock. And that includes those rank textures. That is why I'm really excited to show you Nautical Ranks. An alternative to better ranks, it is 100% free and it supports Geyser MC. So let me show you how to get it working. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we start, it would help me out so extremely much. And then without any further ado, uh, let's dive right into this. A link to this website can be found in the description down below. It is called Nautical Ranks and like I said, it is a better ranks alternative that is compatible with Geyser MC, requires no plugins at all and it is 100% free. It is made by the same creator as the Nautical Network Minecraft server, which I actually joined in one of my previous videos. There's a support discord over here at the bottom, so feel free to join that if you're interested. But we're gonna go over how to set this up. So when we click on release over here, it will bring us to this page. And here we got a couple of files. Now the ones we want to download is Java Nautical and Bedrock Nautical. So this one is a regular zip file, while this one is an MC pack file. For those who don't know, MC pack files are basically resource pack files for Bedrock Edition. So we're gonna download both of these. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna click again. Uh, there we go. So now they both appear on my desktop. So this one is a Java Edition resource pack. This one is a Bedrock Edition resource pack. Now let's first cover the Java Edition resource pack. How do we get this one working? Well, you want to turn this resource pack into a server resource pack. So that as soon as Java Edition players join your server, this resource pack will be installed on their Minecraft. I've already made a full tutorial on this channel on how to turn a regular resource pack into a server resource pack. So I will leave that linked as a card on this video if you want to check it out. But basically, it requires you to upload your resource pack to a website like, for example, MC Packs. Then copy all this text over here and then paste that text into your server.properties file. Just like this. So now, as soon as we try to join the server through Java Edition, you will get this cute little pop-up. The server recommends the use of a custom resource pack. Well, of course we want to install it. It will take a little bit, but after that, we will join the server and the resource pack will be applied. Now, I'm going to show you that the resource pack works in a minute, but first, let me show you how to set it up for Bedrock. Believe it or not, it might actually be easier. So you want to go to your Minecraft server directory, then go to your plugins folder, and in there you want to look for your geyser spigot folder now for this i will of course assume you've already set up geyser mc if you don't even know what geyser mc is or you've not set it up yet and you want to know how to do that i've made a full tutorial on geyser mc it is watchable here on the channel and i will leave it linked as a card on this video so you can check it out but we're going inside of the geyser spigot folder and then over here you want to look for the packs folder and then drag the pack we downloaded inside just like that. Then I'm gonna boot up Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It has been so long since I've ever booted this. I'm gonna join my Minecraft server. So let's join it. And there we go. We're in. Now the world will just look the same. It's just the default Minecraft resource pack. But when we now go back to the Nautical Ranks GitHub page, over here, you will see a lot of symbols. Now they might all look the same. There, there's no difference. It's just like a weird square. It doesn't really say anything. It doesn't really do anything it is just a random symbol but let's say we would copy the symbol of for example owner and i'm gonna paste the symbol inside of my java edition chat you can see it actually looks like an owner rank that looks freaking cool look at that and if we then copy the dev symbol so i'm gonna copy this little square and then i'm gonna paste it there we go developer <laughs> look at that that is freaking awesome and yes this will work for bedrock too so i open the chat i paste the symbol in there and look at that the Developer. Let's go. <laughs> That is so cool. So let's try one more. This is Helper Plus. Hey, look at that. That is absolutely awesome. Look at them. 
helper plus <laughs> so because these symbols are the same for both bedrock and java edition as long as java has their resource pack loaded and bedrock has their resource pack loaded they will both be able to see these cool custom ranks so you can now add these symbols over here as a prefix for your rank through for example look perms and then it really doesn't matter what device you're using you will always be able to see them now i've made a full look perms tutorial here on the channel already so if you want to know more about how look perms exactly works i will also leave that one linked as a card so you can check it out but basically when creating a new rank or for one of your existing ranks you want to set that symbol as the prefix so just like that and the name is going to be hello <laughs> it really doesn't matter so prefix one and then this weird symbol over there very important gonna save it paste it in game and immediately you can see the prefix is now helper so now i'm gonna set my rank to hello and hello <laughs> it works perfectly and like you can see it will also show up like that on bedrock it is absolutely legendary i love it now i really hope i could help you out with this today if i did do make sure to smash that subscribe button you would help me out so much by doing that you actually would and then i wish you an amazing day and i will see you in the next one bye bye <laughs>